What's up, everybody? Uh, this song is going to be standard tuning, and you really just need a few basic chords for it. Um, it's in the, the chords that are in it, it's going to be C, G, D, A, and E major. And that's really all the chords that are in the whole song, and obviously some embellishments in between. Alright, so the intro part, you're going to start out holding down the B string on the third fret. You're going to hit that and the open high E string together, and you're going to slide to the 5th fret on the B string. You're gonna, that's a really quick slide, too. And then you're going to hit, the, again, the 3rd fret B string and the high, open high E string again. Like that. And then right after you hit that, you're going to take your uh, middle finger come to the 4th fret on the G string and you're going to slide down to the 2nd fret so so after you slide down to the 2nd fret on the uh, G string you're going to do like, you're going to hit the open D string and hammer on I'll use my ring finger for that because then you're going to have to make like an E major shape So the whole intro it slowly is going to look like this. Okay. And after you uh, land on that D string, you're going to hit the open E. And uh, you're going you're gonna to make it eat that E major shape, which is 2nd fret A, 2nd fret D, 1st fret G. And uh, you're going to hit the low E string. And you're gonna kind of just uh, just pick lightly through the through the chord. So you're gonna hit the open E, hit the middle middle strings, and then hit the high strings. It's it's kind of lightly, so it's gonna be. And then you come back to the middle again. So it's okay. So after that, you're gonna. Come up to the fourth fret. You're gonna do a double stop on the A string and the D string. Just hold it down with one finger, and you're you're gonna hit those two strings and slide to the fifth. Hit the and then hit the low E, and then go back to the fifth fret. Double stop. Back to the low E again, and then back to the fourth fret. Double stop. back to the low E again, and then an E major shape chord. So all that so far is going to look like this. So then you're going to come up here, you're going to hit the open A and hammer on onto the second fret, and then hit the open D, and do that same thing again and then open A. Okay. So then it gets into the chords and uh, uh, the first chord that it's going to be is a C which is going to be 1st fret B string, 2nd fret D string, and 3rd fret A string. Okay. The way I pick through it you're going to hit the, the A string and the D string. Strum. Then it goes to a G, so it's gonna, that's going to be 3rd fret low E, 2nd fret A, and then 3rd fret high E string. Okay, And then can, same thing, similar thing, it's going to be, you're going to hit the low E and the A first, and then strum. So it's going to look like this so far. Okay, then it goes to the D chord, which first I'm going to hit the open D, and then hit the G, while you have the D chord held down, which the D chord is 2nd fret G, 2nd fret high E, and then 3rd fret B. So again, you're going to hit the open D, then the G, and instead of strumming on this, you're going to do a little hammer on pull off on the third fret with your pinky on the high E string. Okay. You're going to
gonna hit the high E, hammer around with your pinky, and then pull off. And then hit the uh, B string. to the A chord, which you're just going to hold it down with one finger here, from the, you're going to hold down the D, the G, and the B string, you're just going to hold that down, kind of mute the, the low E string with that, you're going to leave the A string open, okay, but on this, when you get to this chord, you're just going to strum, and then you're going to do another hammer on pull off right here on the B string on the third fret, you're going to hammer on, pull off, and then hit that open G string. So to go through the chords all together slowly, it's going to look like this. Okay, so after that A chord, hammer on, pull off, you're going to hit the open E string again, and then go right back to your E major shape. Again, you're gonna kind of do a little bit of a strum. Okay. So again, from the A, it's. So the strum that I did was a down, down, up. So from there, you're gonna slide from the fifth fret to the seventh fret on the low E string and then hit the 5th fret A string and then go back to the 7th fret low E and then back to the 5th fret A so it's and give it a little bit of vibrato and then go back to the open E and back to the E major chord so I'm going to play everything so far slowly from the intro major again with one strum so then it's going back to the that same lick that we started the song out the hammer on second fret from from open open D and then the same thing and then open A and then you're going right again back into the exact same chord um, chord progression C G D A and then E major, okay, and uh, it really just kind of cycles through that same exact chord progression. There's just a couple different licks you could do um, in between it. So instead of the, when you come down here doing this lick, okay, another one you can do instead of that, you could go pretty much the same exact thing. You're just hitting the D string on the fifth fret. Everything else is the same. Again, give it some vibrato. And um, another one you could do for that same part, instead of, instead of that, you could come up here to the second fret, you're going to slide to the fourth, just a little bit higher, um, higher pitch. It's going to be second fret to fourth fret slide, and then you're going to hit the third fret on the B string. Just hit the same exact strings again. Okay. And one other one that you can do is right here on the first fret, you're gonna slide from on the A string from the first to the second, and then you hit the open D.
one other lick you can do uh, to take place of this one. It's going to sound like this. Which is going to be uh, open A string again, hammer on, open D, back to the A on the second, and then hammer on pull off on the D string, second, and then land on the D, uh, land on the A string on the second. And then right back into the chords again. And the way I showed you how to do the chords, how you pick through it, you really don't have to do that. You could just strum the chords to it. You know, it's going to sound good like that also. I was just showing you a little different way to do it. But, I mean, it's going to sound good like this too. So yeah, it's going to cycle through the chords a bunch of times that, you know, it's just kind of a, it's a continuous circle um, between the chords and the licks. It's going to keep going around until it gets to really the, the other part of the, the only other part of the song, which is going to sound like this. So that part is going to start out on the 3rd fret A string, okay, you're going to hit the, the A string, then the open low E, and it's a walk down, or walk up, it's going to be 1st fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret on the low E, so starting with the A, okay, then you're going to go to the 2nd fret on the A string, walk up with that. So that's second, third, fourth, and then I do a, just a slide from fourth to fifth. And then you're going back to the low E string on the second, and then same exact thing. Two, three, four, and then four to five slide. And then you're going to the fourth fret A string. four, five, six, slide to seven, and then open E. Okay, so again, slowly. And when you're when you're down when you get to that slide from the uh, six to the seventh on the A string, you hit that low E, and you come to that E major. But instead of doing the E major, another cool chord you can do it's going to be uh, uh, seventh fret on the A, sixth fret on the D, seventh fret on the G, and then eighth fret on the high E. Okay and you're going to strum all strings. It's kind of a famous Hendrix chord. So that's in place of that E major up here. So after that that riff, that one, you're gonna land back on that E major again, and then you're going back just back into that lick. I do it down here for, after the lick. And then you're right back into the chords again. So I'm gonna play just a, a couple uh, couple times around just so you can get an idea of how, just to put into context a little bit.
right, guys. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a lot more cool lessons coming soon. And uh, if you have any questions or comments on this video, uh, just let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. <laughs>